Hello and welcome back to another How To Django tutorial. My name's Tom with Master Code Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to use the Get Object 404 in the Django view. Basically, we had a question from a user yesterday. Uh, he wanted to know what the difference was between the Get Object 404 and the Get Method. Basically, <clears throat> there is a subtle difference. Um, and I shouldn't say subtle because uh, if you use the get method and you can't find an object in the database, basically if you don't have it set up properly, you're going to kill your program. Um, now if you use the get object 404 and you can't find the object in the database, well you're going to return a 404 page. Um, so that's why we use the get object 404. So let's go ahead and um, just take a look at how this all works. All right, First we're going to build a view um, and in that view we'll use the get method first and I'll show you how you have to handle a 404 with the get method and then we'll uh, change it over to a get object 404 and you guys will see how simple it is to use a get object 404 versus the get method and <clears throat> the difference in the errors. We're not actually going to run this because I didn't set up the models or URLs or anything so I want you guys to just kind of play pretend here and follow along with me. Alright so the first thing we're going to need to do is um, uh, basically we're going to need to bring in from django.http uh, import http 404. All right, so we can raise that error. Um, next thing we're going to need is just pretend that we have from.models uh, import um, post. We'll call it post. It's a blog post, if you will. All right, next thing we're going to have is define, and we'll just call this the, the view. All right, in the view, we need request. And we also need uh, a way to decipher our object in the database. So we'll just use primary key, all right? Because we're using uh, get 404 or the um, get method, most likely we want to get a single object. And the way we decipher that is using the primary key. So when a URL is visited, the URL parameter is sent to the view via here. All right, so it would be a primary key, and then we look it up that way. Just for uh, <clears throat> playing along sake, we'll just say we'll put a template in here, and we'll call this uh, some underscore template.html. Like I said, I'm not going to actually show this to you because I don't have it all set up on my computer. Uh, next thing we're going to do is now we're going to bring in the get method. <clears throat> so what we could do is item dot, or items equal to, and we're going to say post.object.get, and inside the get method, we need to look for a single object using the primary key. So we'll say primary key is equal to primary key. All right, cool. Now the problem is when we set it up like this, if we if a user visits a primary key that doesn't exist, um, we're going to go look in the database for that object. If it doesn't exist, then we're going to return a does not exist error. The problem with it does not exist error is it's going to throw a 500 error. What a 500 error does to a Django site is it makes it crash. All right, <clears throat> we don't want to do that. We never we never want to do that, especially if you're building a site for um, clients. That's pretty embarrassing if your site crash, crashes. <clears throat> so um, basically, to work around this, we're going to need to raise a HTTP. P 404 error. So how do we do that? Let's go ahead and put a try statement to wrap around this uh, get method and we'll say accept and in here we'll do post dot post dot uh, does not exist like that <clears throat> and this is the basically uh, does not exist is a method on the post. All right, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and raise uh, HTTP 404 error, and then in there we'll say uh, page uh, does not exist. Something like that, all right? Let's just finish out our, our uh, view real quick just for, uh, uh, so you guys can see how that should be done as well. Item, item, and then we'll just come down and return render request template context like that all right <clears throat> like i said now with the item 
if we go and search for the item via the primary key, if it's found, great, it returns that, that page to us. If it's not found, then it's going to raise an HTTP 404 error. And Django comes with a default 404 page, it would show that to you. Otherwise, if you wanted to make your own 404 page, you put it in the top level of your uh, templates folder right here, this one. In the top level is 404.html, and it would display that page. All right, so this is all good and well. This all works here, but this is more work than I want to do. All right, so um, usually when you're writing uh, some sort of Django project for a client, you're usually pressed for time. You want to get things done fast so you can go hang out with your friends or hang out with your family or whatever. So why do more work than we have to? All right, so we're going to go ahead and just comment this out so you guys can still see it. But I'm going to show you the easiest way, and Python comes with a great function called get object 404. All right, so we're going to say item is equal to get. Uh, actually, before we do that, we got to come up here and import it from shortcuts. So get object 404, just like that. And we'll say get object 404. So it takes uh, one required argument. Normally, you're going to use two arguments in this case, a minimum of two. So the first argument is going to be, where are we searching for this data? Now, it can be a model. It can be a query set. It can also be um, some kind of manager, all right? We're going to use a model. So we'll use post, and then we have comma. And then we're going to say, hey, this is our lookup parameter, basically. So primary key is equal to primary key, all right? So that's all we have to do versus what we did up here. All right. So if the object's found, great, it returns the object to us. If the object's not found in the database, it's going to throw the uh, HTTP 404 error and we'll display a 404 page. All right. So that's how we use to get object 404. <clears throat> and this is why you should use it. So you don't kill your program with a 500 error if you don't set it up like this. But this is more work than we need to do because we can use to get object 404 and handle everything. If you guys have any questions, please let me know over at uh, mastercode.online or below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.